All right, so this is chapter three, lesson three, and it's located on page 215. We start off with a vertical number line in the real world link. Um, it says the platform on a diving board is three meters high. The actions of a diver climbing up to the diving board. Here it shows going up three feet high to the diving board. And diving one meter below the water surface are shown on the number line. So he dives down and he goes one meter below the surface. The diver's actions can be represented by the subtraction equation three minus four equals negative one. 3 minus 4 equals a negative 1 on that particular page. Now it says write a related addition sentence for the subtraction sentence. So what you're going to do here is 3, they want an addition sentence plus negative 4 equals negative 1. They say the same thing. This and this say the same thing. Now we're going to go on to problem number two. Use a number line to find one minus five. So on your number line, you are going to start at zero. You go right one. And now you are going to go left five. One, two, three, four, Five, and you end up at negative 4. So this is my negative 5, this is my positive 1, and I end up at negative 4. So the difference is negative 4. An addition sentence would be 1 plus negative 5 equals negative 4. Any questions on what to write on that problem? Okay. Um, yes, what was your question? It says 1 minus 5. So how do you know if it's a negative or not? We're going to learn about that in the next page. Our pages. Page 216. What do you do when you subtract integers? All right. It says to subtract integers, add its additive inverse. Okay, when you subtract integers, you change it to an addition, taking its additive inverse. P minus Q equals P plus a negative Q. That's the additive inverse of Q. Now, 4 minus 9 equals 4 plus negative 9. So we've rewritten it. There's the, the subtraction. You rewrite it as an addition problem. So you have a negative 5. Both of these will give you the answer, a negative 5. 7 minus a negative 10 equals 7 plus 10. Add the opposite. Add the additive inverse. There are seven of you that are not paying attention. It's very unfortunate. Okay, let's look at this example here. 6 minus 7 equals a negative 1. You have to rewrite it as an addition problem. Add the opposite. You will rewrite it as 6 plus negative 7, which equals a negative 1. Now let's go and look at the examples. 8 minus 13 equals 8 plus a negative 13. Yes? Um, they do that to make you identify the negative number in the book. You don't have to do that when you write them down. That's a good question. Yes? Um, this is kind of like two things split the It is. And I'm going to give you a little routine of what to think about when you do these in just a moment. But I'm going through the words in the book. So we change this to an addition problem. 8 plus negative 13 is negative 5. And then they make you show the steps. Find negative 10 minus 7. That'll be negative 10 plus a negative 7. Add the opposite. So let's do that on the bottom. You are going to do these problems. You're going to rewrite it as an addition problem below. This will be 6 plus, 
the opposite of 12, negative 12. Negative 20 plus, what's the opposite of 15? Negative 15. Negative 22 plus the opposite of 26, negative 26. Now, let's do the answers. 6 plus negative 12. The signs are different. Subtract negative 6. Negative 20 plus negative 15. The answer, negative 35. Negative 22 plus negative 26. Negative 46. Now let's go to the next page. Negative 48. Oh, thank you, 48. Okay, let's go on to the next page, 217. These problems, kids, can be very easy, but if you're not paying attention, it's very easy to make a mistake. All right. Negative 1 minus 2. Add the opposite. What's 1 plus 2? 3. A subtraction sign. Change it to an addition. What's the opposite of negative 7? Positive 7. What is negative 10 plus 7? Negative 3. Now, let's do D, E, and F. Change them to an addition problem. The first number stays the same. Add the opposite. 4 plus 12 is 16. Add the opposite. Negative 15 plus 5 is negative 10. Add the opposite. 18 plus 6 is 24. Any questions on what we are doing? You are adding the additive inverse or adding the opposite. Okay, let's look at example 5. Here, it's going to have you do different values for x and y. This says, evaluate x minus y. You're going to replace x with a negative 6 and y with a negative 5. So you will have negative 6 minus a negative 5. Now, you have to change it to an addition problem. Add the opposite. Negative 6 plus, negative, or plus a positive 5 is a negative 1. In the next one, it tells you that m is negative 15 and n is going to represent an 8 this time. So you will write down m minus n, negative 15 minus 8. Well, it's a subtraction problem. You have to add the opposite. Negative 15 plus a negative 8 equals a negative 23. Now let's practice G, H, and I at the bottom of the paper. Copy these down and solve the problems. Okay, so in this problem, negative 8 minus 10. Add the opposite Negative 8 plus negative 10 is negative 18 for your answer. The next problem, A is 5 minus B, which is a negative 8. Add the opposite. The answer, 13. C is negative 9 minus 5. Add the opposite. Negative 14. Any questions? All right, let's go to the next page. The temperature on the moon vary, or temperatures, from negative 173 degrees Celsius to 127 degrees Celsius. Find the difference between the maximum, which is this one, the minimum, which is that one. Minimum means the smallest. Maximum means the um, highest. So, difference, we're going to subtract. So, you have 127 minus a negative 173. 
add the opposite. The opposite of that is a positive. The difference is 300 degrees Celsius. Let's do letter J. Brenda had a balance of negative $52 in her account. The bank charged her a fee of $10 for having a negative balance. What is her new balance? Well, she owes, she is at a negative balance. They charge her a fee. So you're subtracting 10, negative 52 minus 10. You are going to add the opposite and she's going to have an account balance of negative 62. So it's negative $62. All right. Let's do the guided practice together. I strongly recommend that you show changing each one of these to an addition problem because when you subtract integers, you add the opposite. So you need to change every subtraction problem to an addition problem. Add the opposite. Add the opposite. Add the opposite. And on this problem, negative 3. 14 plus 10, 24. 12 plus a negative 26 will be a negative. 12 plus a negative 26 will give you a negative 14. In number 4, Q is negative 14 minus R which is a negative 6. We are going to add the opposite. Negative 14 plus 6 is a negative 8. And the last problem, find the difference between the maximum and the minimum. 31 minus a negative 2. Add the opposite. 31 plus 2 will give you the answer 33. And the last problem, if x and y are positive integers and x minus, um, is x minus y always positive? Will it always be positive on that problem? Uh, no. no, it will not. X is great, if x is greater than y, The difference is positive. We've got another sentence to add to it. If x is less than y, the difference, I'm just going to abbreviate difference, the difference is negative. And if x equals 0, or if x, yeah, if x equals y, the difference is going to be 0. All right, there it sort of got off the screen. So those are the different cases for that problem. So your homework, you're going to do page. 200, here we go, page 219, all. Then when you look at page 220, on page 220, I want you to do 14 to 16. Um, I also would like for you to do number 19, find the area, and number 20, circle 19 and 20. Then on page 221, um, do 
24 to 33. Excuse me. 24 to 33, and that's on page 221. Okay, so let's get busy and do that.